Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this module, High Level Functions and Lambdas. Now this video is actually the continuation of the previous video. So make sure you have watched my previous video and then only continue with this video. So in this video, we'll talk about the lambdas and high level functions in deep detail so as to clear your concept with more clarity. And also we will check out various ways to pass lambda to the high level functions that are present in case of Kotlin. So first of all, let us now explore the lambdas and high level functions. So as seen in the previous video, the lambda expression looks like this. The curly bracket open and close. Within this, we have the lambda expression. Now, each lambda expression is actually the function. So x and y are parameters. And after the dash and arrow operator, we have x plus y, which is actually the method body. So x and y are parameter and x plus y is actually the method body that simply returns some value x plus y. We can assign this lambda expression to this my lambda function variable. So this is the variable of this signature. So here we have colon followed by the type of variable that we have here. Now the type of variable of the lambda expression will have the signature similar to the expression. So here x is an integer value, y is an integer value and then we have the return type as int that is x plus y which is the method body simply returns the integer value. So that is why I have written here int. So here we can say this is the variable name. And here this is the method signature or the lambda signature. That is, these are the two parameters x and y and the method body returns integer value that is x and y returns the sum as integer value. Now then comes the calling of the high level function. Now what is a high level function? The high level function actually contains simply accepts the lambda function as a parameter or it can also return the lambda function. So if a function follows either of these two, that is accepting a lambda function or the expression or returning some lambda value, then the method is known as the high level functions. So this is the lambda expression and this is the high level function that accepts my lambda function, right? Or the expression. So here I have simply defined the function add to numbers. This is the add to number and then 3 comes to a which is the integer value, 8 comes to b which is again the integer value, then comes my lambda function. So here I have simply defined my function colon the signature. Now if you compare b colon int, you will find the same thing here. My function which is actually the variable name followed by the signature. So here the int is the signature of this b variable. So here int int followed by int is actually the signature of this my function. So this my function actually accepts two integer variables and then simply returns the integer type. So inside the body of add two numbers, we can simply write our code such as my function a comma b. Now here this my function is actually this one my func that simply passes two parameters of a and b. So here a and b are these two variables that has a value of 3 and 8. So we are simply passing 3 and 8 as a parameter. So this a is actually this x and this b is actually this y. So x plus y will be evaluated in place of my function a and b. So instead of my function a and b, we can simply evaluate it as x plus y equal to a plus b equal to the value that is 3 plus 8 that simply returns 11 as a result. That is finally we are getting 11 as a value. So this 11 will be stored inside the result variable. And finally we can simply print the result and in the output console we will get 11 as the output. So this is all about the lambdas and high level functions, right? So just in place of my function a and b, simply replace it mentally by this x plus y which is the method body and put the values as this one equal to 11 is the result. As simple as that. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, I will simply clean up my code so as to make the things more simple and more clear. 
So now we are only left with the add to numbers method which is actually the high level function that takes the action function as a lambda expression, right? And we are simply calling this function from here program dot add to numbers and simply passing the my lambda expression which we saw in the previous video. So no doubt till now. Now here previously we were just printing the value that is inside the method body of this lambda expression we are just printing out the value. Now let us modify something such as instead of s let us say we have a comma let's say x comma y and then which is which is again of the type of int x and y are int and then here let us use x plus y right now here as a lambda expression signature we need to again change it so here we have two parameters of x and y so here we will use int comma int that is two parameters and then the return type is actually integer value so instead of unit we can simply use int right now suppose if I write here let's say a string value so here I need to write here string as simple as that that we saw in the previous video as well so here let us use int revert it back as well let's say x plus y that is add to numbers and now here I'm simply passing my lambda as an expression to this add to numbers method so I will simply modify my add to numbers method so as to match the signature that we have defined here this signature so simply copy this signature control C and simply paste the signature here so now we have two parameters of int and int that simply returns the int value right now if you want you can also make it float as well and change it everywhere so as of now let's keep it int and now here variable sum equal to a plus b and then what I will do is I will simply remove this code here and now instead of this I am having the method of action so simply use action and then simply pass let's say a comma b so we don't need to have this variable sum here as well just call action a and b so this will simply be evaluated as let's say the method body now the method body is x plus y so x plus y now here the x is actually a and y is actually b so the value is actually 2 and 7 so we can simply use a plus b equal to implies 2 plus 7 now the result will be 9 so this action will again return the integer value of 9 right because the return type is here so here I will simply define a val result equal to action right and now at the end print line result so let us now run the code and let's see what happens so here we go 9 in the output console we are getting right so in this video we just modified our lambda our high level function and also here we have the return type as int instead of unit and we are simply printing out the result inside this add to numbers method now at the end of the previous video I told you instead of using this whole statement here variable my lambda and so so we can simply cut or copy this lambda expression from here and replace the variable name as with the lambda expression and simply comment this line so here we are simply passing and if you want you can also remove this int and int signature here x and y are the parameters and x plus y are actually the method body and similarly here as well you can remove the int and also int this simplifies our code now let us run the code so here again we get 9 in the output console so our codes are working perfectly fine so you can simply pass the lambda expressions directly so this was one way and this is another way of calling the add to numbers that is high level functions now apart from these two ways there exist two more ways let me show you so here I have add to numbers simply passing my lambda function as a variable now apart from this we can also pass the lambda expression directly that is simply using x y followed by x plus y here directly right 
Now, similar to this, we have one more alternative way. That is, simply use add to numbers 3 and 8, then simply close the bracket. Now, if you look at this statement, you will find the lambda expression is actually present right after the end of the last parameter that is 8. It is actually looking like a method body add to numbers and here as a method body, I have the lambda expression. So, instead of closing the bracket here, we are simply closing down the bracket here and then defining the lambda expression. So these three are actually same. So all these three code will give the same output. Let me show you the code in action inside the IntelliJ IDE. So here again, let me copy this code and paste it again. Let me comment the line. And now here, instead of closing the bracket here, I will simply close the bracket here by removing the comma. And now if you notice after 2 and 7, I am simply having the lambda expression that appears to be the method body, right? So let us run the code and let's see what happens. So here again we get the same output as 9. So it makes no difference. So all these three lines of codes are working perfectly fine. You can use the variable name, lambda expression directly or you can use this way of defining the lambda expression outside the method body like this, right? So this is all about this video. Now we will take our discussion to the next level in the next video and we will talk more about the lambda expression and high level functions in case of Kotlin. Now remember these two concepts are very very important, right? So make sure you watch all these videos in this module. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Thank you.